Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and this Oh. And today we have an awesome root to rise practice. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. Alrighty, my friends, let's begin today's practice in a comfortable seat. Come on down to the ground. Bring your energetic being or body to the earth. Seems kind of corny, but I feel like even just the opportunity to kind of get on the ground and connect to the earth is meaningful these days when we spend so much time with our technology. So even just coming down to the earth, feeling your feet on the ground, hopefully you have your shoes off, can be beneficial. Of course, take your time getting settled in, but let's slowly, mindfully work our way towards sitting up nice and tall and bringing your awareness to that which is touching the earth here, the outer edges of the feet perhaps, the thighs, the heavy muscles of the glutes, the hips of course, the sitting bones, the sits bones, And go ahead and close your eyes if you haven't already, or if you don't feel comfortable closing your eyes right away, just maybe soften your gaze down past your nose so that you're kind of inviting your awareness to move inward. And thank you for allowing me to guide you. You can use the sound of my voice and just allow that to guide you, especially here during this first beat. Taking a moment to look inward, and I really think of this part of the practice most of the time as one of the most valuable. And that is the moment in which I'm, I'm allowing myself opportunity and time to just tune in, to check in. You might feel anxious here, a little fidgety, or maybe you feel tired and heavy. Maybe you're eager wondering if you should have picked a faster paced video, you will get a little bit of sweat on today, don't worry. So see if you can allow yourself to just be in this practice of tuning into the present moment, whatever that is for you today. Of course, I come with tools, with, with offerings, so we're gonna use the breath to help us observe whatever's going on here today. So as you're ready, Take a deep breath in through your nose. And a long breath out through your nose or mouth. And I'll keep cueing the breath, but you can allow the, the breathing to kind of invite soft, easy movement, whether it's in the fingers or the neck, the shoulders, the lips, the jaw. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Big inhale in through the nose. And exhale out through the nose or mouth. Big inhale in through the nose. And see if you can really slow it down. Make the exhale nice and long here, breathing out. Slowing it down, big inhale in. Long breath out, relax your shoulders perhaps. And one more cycle like this, inhale. And long exhale, empty it out. On your next inhale, draw the hands together at the heart, inhale. Exhale, bow the head to the hands, feel that stretch in the back of the neck. Good, inhale in here again. Feel the low body get heavy. And as you exhale, lift the head, lift the chin, open the eyes, and we're just gonna let the fingertips come gently to our sides and 
Feel the low body really rooted here and then see if you can grow a little taller, a little longer up through the spine. Tuck the chin slightly to create length in the back of the neck. And then just walk the fingertips behind you. Nothing super big here, just opening up through the pecs, through the armpit chest. You might walk your pinkies together to touch. You might not even get close. And either, either or either one is great. Just focusing on the sensation here with your breath. Sweet, then we'll release this. We're gonna take the fingertips forward now, right arm over the left, and we're gonna hook them at the elbows and maybe come into eagle arms here. If that's not available to you, you can hug yourself or even just do like a little um, kung fu move here. I'm sure that's what it's called. Okay, so we're here, here, here. And then we'll inhale to lift up through the shoulders, the chest, the elbows, low body stays rooted. Good, big breath, and then exhale to release. Beautiful, send the fingertips forward, this time left arm on top. We'll do the same thing. Find whatever works for you here. And so the, the name of this practice is Root to Rise. So even here, find that which is rooting to the ground, and then we'll lift up with a big inhale. Elbows lift, heart lifts, crown lengthens towards the heavens, and then slowly release. Awesome. From here, we're gonna spread the fingertips super wide. Take a look at your palms. Spread, spread, stretch the fingers as wide as possible. And this is the type of action we wanna maintain when we're doing um, work with, with the hands on the earth today. So really keep it wide. They're gonna wanna come in. We're gonna keep it nice and mindful in the hands. Okay, let's take it forward. Onto all fours. Tabletop position. Let's jump right into some spinal flexion here. Again, hands rooted here. So that which is touching the earth, we're really building from there at all times. So really spreading the hands, pressing into the tops of the feet, pressing into all of your toes. Or if you're working in modifications or variations today, just find that energetic feeling of rooting down to rise up. Oop, creaky old floor, what's up? Long time, no. Here, no feel. Drop the belly, open the chest, breathe in, look forward. Good, exhale, round through, claw through the fingertips, root to rise here, even here. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look forward. Exhale, rounding through. This is great, especially if you've been practicing for a long time, you can start to um, just re-energize -ener this idea of rooting to rise, building from the ground up. And if you're new to the practice, inhale, everyone drop the belly, open the chest forward. This is a great kind of foundational moment, in my opinion. Okay, rounding through one last time. Good, that inhale, come back to that nice neutral spine. We're just gonna bump the hips a little bit to the left and the right, keeping the palms glued to the ground. Awesome, then walk the hands forward just a bit, curl the toes under, upper arm bones rotate out. So see if you can take your elbow creases towards the front edge of your mat. Great, stay strong in the hands as you lift the hips up high, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, the deepest breath you've taken all day. And as you exhale, start to play a little bit here, keeping the foundation of the hands and the arms. Again, those shoulders externally rotated here, lots of space between the ears and shoulders. Now I'll quiet down a bit and allow you to really amp up the sound of your breath, listening to the sound of your breath from here on out to the end of this practice. Rooting in the sound of the breath. Great, then meet me at the top of the mat. You get to decide how you get there. It can be baby steps, it can be ragdoll, just step, step, or maybe even a little hop. We'll meet at the top of the mat, standing forward fold, feet hip width apart here. Generous bend in the knees. Ay, que lindo Benji, so sweet. Yeah, great. Go ahead and release the head, the neck by shaking a little yes and no. Awesome, then from here, we're gonna slowly begin to roll it up, stacking nice and slow through the spine, feeling that connection through all four corners of the feet, strong 
as you rise up into mountain. Right away, find that lift through the front body. Send your energy all the way up to the sky and then ground it by kind of feeling that loop of energy that comes all the way up through the front body and then down through the back body. And if you're like just hearing this cue for the first time, <laughs> don't worry, but trust me, it's a really great tool for physical practice, kind of balancing the energy of the body. This is also how we find you know, our footing, not just our balance in balancing poses, but balancing our energetic body so that we feel well off the mat. So mountain pose, I love this shape because this is where I check in with my energy, finding that lift, finding that lengthen down through the back. And if you're like, girl, I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't worry about it, let's flow. Here we go, inhale, reach towards the sky. I'm just saying it'll come. Exhale, fold it down all the way. I'll give Benji a little scratch on behalf of myself and whoever else. Good, and then together let's inhale, lift up halfway, just find a nice flat back here. Just play and then exhale, forward fold. Good, from here, Plant the palms, you're gonna step both feet back. We're gonna come into a half plank or a plank, so feel free to lower your knees, especially if you're practicing really early, take your time. Okay, or really late. <laughs> listen to your energy, listen to your body, it's all good. Inhale, look forward, shift forward. Exhale, nice and slow, lower all the way down to the belly. And then here we go, hugging the elbows in, lift up cobra, and then exhale to release. Inhale, press up to all fours or plank, and then exhale to downward facing dog. So we're just starting to warm up a bit here. If you feel stiff or you feel tired, don't worry, my darling, you are not alone. That's why we're here to work it out. All right, anchor through the left heel. Press into your fingerprints, press into your knuckles, and inhale, lift the right leg up high, three-legged dog. Dial the right toes down. Try to keep your right shoulder even with your left, so don't let the left shoulder dip. Good, and then inhale, lift the right heel just a bit, and exhale, bend the right knee, squeeze it all the way up, squeezing, trying to reach your right heel to your right glute. Good, then step it all the way up. Whew, lower the left knee to the earth. Press into the top of the left foot, and inhale, sweep the fingertips, the arms forward, up, and back. Big stretch here. Inhale in, exhale, rain it down. Good, plant the palms, lift the back knee, step the right toes back, plank pose or half plank. Again, inhale, exhale, lower to the belly with control. Here we go, cobra, lifting the heart as you breathe in. And exhaling, forehead to the earth as you breathe out. Good, inhale up to all fours or plank position. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Inhale in deeply. And exhale to empty it out. <sighs> nice and rooted through the hands. Right heel roots down. Inhale, left leg rises up. Connect to that abdominal wall. Low belly draws in and up. Hug the low ribs in. No judgment here. Breathe deep. This is on exploration. Draw the left shoulder in line with the right. Woo, we're shaking. We're breathing. Inhale, lift the left heel a little higher. Exhale, shift it forward, build strength here. So we're reaching the right heel up towards that, excuse me, the left heel up towards that left glute. Excellent, and then step it all the way up. Sorry, even I blacked out there for a second, <laughs> it was hard. Okay, lower the right knee, but we can do hard things. Press the right foot into the ground. Find the foundation, press into the feet, squeeze the inner thighs to the midline. Let's sweep it up, fingertips reach forward, up and back. Big breath in, lift your heart, lift your head. Big breath out as you rain it down. Let's build some strength, build some heat. Plant it, step it back, plank or half plank. This time, belly to cobra, or now maybe chaturanga to upward facing dog. Use your inhale to open your heart, and use your exhale to make your way back to downward facing dog. <sighs> awesome, take a couple breaths here in downward dog. Listening to the sound of your breath, letting that be your anchor. And then 
bend the knees, inhale, look forward, and exhale. Make your way to the top. Meet me in a forward fold, this time with the feet together, really together. Great, now open your eyes and take a look down at your feet. We're gonna create like a strong, strong post between the ball joint of the pinky toes, the ball joint of the big toes, and the back two corners of the heel. Then just hold on to that pose, squeeze your legs together, and inhale, lift up to that flat back position. Nice, and exhale to soften and fold. Now keep this strong po post, this uh, strong footing. As you inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way up and overhead, straighten the legs. We rise all the way back up to standing, and exhale with the strong legs still, sque still squeezing together. Hands come back down to the heart. Good, inhale in here, and exhale to relax the shoulders. Head over heart, heart over pelvis here. I'm still actively squeezing the legs together, feeling my feet rooting down, lifting my heart, my sternum up. Good, inhale, fingertips go down to come up. Strong legs as I inhale, reach for the sky. This time, listen carefully, exhale, bend the elbows, squeeze them down and in, thumbs back, pinkies forward. I'm rooting through the heels, I'm lifting up through the heart. Good, then inhale, tuck the chin, reach it back up, volcano pose, and then exhale, let it go, rain it down, forward fold all the way into the fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift, nice long neck, exhale, soften and bow. Good, plant the palms, step or hop it back to blank, to plank pose. You can send it right to downward facing dog here or take a little vinyasa just depending on your energy today and where your curiosity leads you. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Deep in the breath. Rooting through the hands, anchoring through the left foot. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, dial the right toes down. Good, inhale and again, lift the right heel a little higher. Then exhale, squeeze the right knee all the way up to the chest. Pause here. Right heel reaches up towards the right glute, I know. And then step it up all the way, pivot on the back foot, and we rise up, warrior one. Strong legs, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Back toes are turned in. I'm lifting up through the front body. I'm grounding through the back body. Thumbs back, pinkies forward, front knees bent. Good, now strong legs, root to rise here. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades together. Good, inhale, maybe lift the chin up. And this time exhale, bend the elbows, thumbs back, pinkies forward. We're gonna draw the elbows all the way down towards the hips, lift the heart up towards the sky. Good, then inhale, back to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, turn it out towards your left. Right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. We're kind of pulling the pinkies back, opening up through the chest here. Awesome. Then we're going to straighten through that front leg. Right fingertips reach all the way up towards the sky and then send them back. Big stretch, opening through the front of the right hip crease. Good. Inhale in and exhale. Cartwheel it all the way back down. Right knee bends, we plant the palms, we step the right toes back. Same thing, your choice. You can move straight to downward dog where you can move through a little dance here, finding a gentle heart opener with Cobra, or building more strength with Chaturanga to up dog. We will meet in downward facing dog. And returning to the breath. From downward facing dog, just taking a second to welcome that heat that you're cultivating to re-engage with the fingertips and the knuckles, rooting there to take pressure out of the wrists. And then we'll anchor through the right heel and inhale, lift the left leg up high. Good, exhale, inhale and again, dial the left toes down. And exhale, bring the left knee all the way in, squeeze and lift, left heel to left glute. You got this, building strength in the core. And then stepping it up, pivoting on the back foot, Strong legs, right toes are turned in, front knees bent, warrior one. We sweep the fingertips forward, up and back. Settling down with the shoulders, keeping the heart lifted. 
And the legs are strong here. We're lifting up from the pelvic floor. We're engaged. We're thinking about that energy that runs up through the front body and down through the back body. Listening to the sound of your breath. Maybe lifting the chest up towards the sky. As you breathe, maybe lifting the chin up towards the sky. As you breathe, and when you're ready, here we go, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, bring them down. Thumbs back, pinkies forward, lift the chest, root to rise here. Really lifting from the pelvic floor, you're doing great. Great, and then inhale, reach fingertips up, tuck the chin. Big breath, exhale, warrior two, opening up to the right. Again, back toes are turned in. Pull the pinkies back a bit. Find length in the spine, front knees bent here, we're breathing. Right inner thigh is engaged. One more cycle of breath in and out. Then we'll straighten that left knee. Stay nice and tall on the spine so we're lifting up from the pelvic floor still. And left fingertips reach all the way up and back. Big stretch here. Keep the neck nice and long. Inhale in. Exhale, have some fun here. Cartwheel it all the way back to your lunge. We frame uh, the left foot with the hands. Then when you're ready, step the left foot back and slowly lower all the way to the belly. Good, from here, zip the legs up tight, interlace the fingertips behind the back, squeeze the legs together, press into that which is touching the earth, grow it from there, tuck the chin and start to lift the chest, open little locust variation here. Tuck the chin, keep the neck nice and long. Inhale in, exhale, squeeze the legs together. Last breath, inhale in, stay where you are, or exhale, maybe experiment with lifting the legs. Good, slowly release everything. Curl the toes under, inhale up to all fours or plank pose, and exhale to downward facing dog. Awesome work. Inhale in deeply, and exhale out through the mouth. Nice cleansing breath. One more time, inhale, lots of love in. And lots of love out. Beautiful. From here, walk the feet just to the center of your mat. Then walk the hands back to meet the toes. So now you're standing in forward fold at the center of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Find that nice flat back position. And exhale to soften and let it go. Bring the hands to the waistline. Draw the elbows together behind you. Bend your knees and slowly lead with your heart as you root to rise. Feet grounding into the earth as you lift your heart. Ooh, yes. Now take a second here to just feel, feel yourself. Just feel it out. Observe the breath. You can take soft, easy movement here in the neck, the shoulders. Beautiful. Then go ahead and turn on your mat so that you can walk your feet as wide as the length of the mat. And if you're no longer facing the screen in a comfortable way, you can use the sound of my voice to guide you and just peek at me when you need to. So I'll really talk you through it. Feet nice and wide. We'll turn the toes in so that you're really feeling some traction on the outer edges of the feet. And then you're just gonna exaggerate that Engage the arches of the feet and then keep that energy kind of going all the way up through the inseam of your legs as you stand nice and tall here in a bit of a superhero posture. Because not all heroes wear capes, right? Okay. Lift the heart, inhale in. Exhale, listen carefully. Soft bend in the knees. You're gonna slowly send your hips back, send your heart forward. Just go as far as you feel you can still holding your torso up. So before you feel like you collapse all the way down, try to find a nice flat back position and that will look and feel a little different for everyone. Now ground through the feet, root down to rise up. Good, again, inhale, find length, length through the side body, front body, back body. Exhale, soft bend in the knees. Send your gaze forward as if you're looking into a pond. The elbows are still nice and active. Shoulder blades drawing together, hips back. Hug the front body up to meet the back body, almost as if you were bracing your core here. And then root to rise, inhale. Stand tall, exhale, relax the shoulders. 
And last time, here we go, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the knees, send it forward. Now this time, once you feel like you have that brace in your core, you might re release the fingertips down. Maybe palms. Maybe crown of the head, standing wide-legged forward fold. If the crown of the head comes down to the earth, the legs are strong, rooted, outer edges of the feet glued, inner arches lifted, elbows bent, maybe at a 90 degree angle. And if you're like, mm, not today, that's all right. Whether your hands, fingertips, head are on the ground or nothing, nada, let's connect to the feet, soft bend in the knees and everyone bring your hands back to the waistline. Don't rush this, root to rise here, building strength, stability, nice and mindfully. We rise up nice and slow. You can feel the energy for the blood just flow opposite direction, take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, start to bring the feet together. You can heel toe, heel toe the feet together or you can hop. We'll squeeze the legs together, arch to arch. Feel free to shake the feet out first if you need to. And Vriksasana, here we come. Hands come together. Shift your weight to your left foot, tree pose. We'll begin to peel just the right heel up, just the right heel. So instead of collapsing into the weight of that left hip and that left foot, use your root to rise um, mindset to really press away from the earth. And that's kind of what creates this yielding effect to lift the right knee up as if it was on a marionette string. So we're not sinking and muscling our way into the postures, but we're really creating um, integrity and really integrating really everything to move together. So let's come back together here with the right knee lifted. And first we're gonna come into a standing Tadasana. So you can bring the hands, one le standing one-legged Tadasana. So hands at the heart here. Or if you wanna challenge yourself, bring the fingertips up towards the sky. This is challenging too. So we're here, over here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reinforce that pressing away from the left foot. We'll take the right hand, either guide the right heel up towards the center, maybe placing it below the knee or even fingertips, excuse me, toes on the earth. <laughs> and same thing, hands together at the heart or maybe reaching towards the sky, finding that lift in the front body and that grounding through the back body and really letting that be what informs your stance, your posture here, the placement, your alignment. Good, inhale in, exhale, let's bring it back down to mountain pose. Inhale in, exhale to shift the weight over to the right foot and we'll take the second side. So lifting the left heel, don't rush this, especially if you have done tree pose for many, many moons. Take it nice and slow and see if you can integrate, find something new. So we're rooting down through the right foot, that's what creates the yielding effect of lifting the left knee. I'm not muscling here, I'm not cramping in the foot. And this takes practice, of course. And then I'll just take a second here to engage all the strong muscles and maybe they're building their strength back up now or maybe for the first time. So palms together, standing one-legged Tadasana or fingertips reaching up high towards the sky. Sweet. And then once we were kind of recruited more muscles <laughs> and awareness, now we can come into maybe this shape and try to find it here, either with the foot above the knee or maybe placed lovingly below the knee or with the toes, not the fingertips, the toes on the mat. And working with a chair or a hand on a piece of furniture or a wall is actually really helpful because you can start to really build that in, in integration and, and those muscles and your balance. Uh, mindfully versus kind of on a wing in a prayer. If you want to try reaching the arms up towards the sky, maybe we do that now. And then wherever you are, take a deep breath in, inhale, lift your heart, get long, and then exhale slowly and with control, bring it back down. 
All right, then walk the feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Find soft bend in the knees. We're gonna end with knocking on heaven's door today. Hopefully getting you kind of rooted, not just, yeah, in a balancing posture, but as I mentioned a bit earlier, but energetically kind of grounded, centered, so that you can rise above, so that you can do what you need to do, so that you can be a steward of goodness or a helper. Take the high road or just have a peaceful day. You deserve it. So if you're like, okay, what are we doing here? What is she doing? I'm sending my arms a little left to right. I am smacking my own butt, so there's that. I'm keeping a soft bend in the knees. And just for the next minute, really, I'm getting out of my head and into my car. No, I'm getting out of my head and I'm gonna breathe here. So find your breath and start to speed it up. Back and forth, shake it loose. Don't think, I know it's silly, here we go. Come on now, if you took a break, come back in here for these last 30 seconds. Notice where your thoughts go here. Come back to the sound of your breath. Speed it up here, speed it up a little faster. So good for the internal organs here, getting a nice little massage. And then we'll start to slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, and come back to mountain pose. How do you feel? Notice. All right, that's my time. Let's bring the hands together at the heart. You can look at me at the video or you can close your eyes here and listen to the sound of my voice. Thank you so much for taking some time to practice with me and all of the other lovely people who happen to show up just at the same time as you. Thank you for taking care of yourself even when it feels difficult. And as always, I'm here for you. I hope to see you again soon. Let's take a final breath together. So here we go, big inhale in through the nose. And exhale out through the nose or mouth. We bow the head to the heart. Nice work, namaste.